father? Father, what is it? She's won, Maggie. I've betrayed you. Betrayed me? Oh, she knew me so well. She knew if she stripped you of everything, I'd have no choice. But no. She made sure you'd neither want for anything nor have anything either. All your life, you'll have to look to me. I don't understand. Oh, you'll be respectable, even socially admissible. But you'll never quite be Miss Cleary. Never quite be one of them. I don't want to be one of them. To be stupid and vicious and cruel like Miss Carmichael. How could you even think of that, Father? Oh, Maggie, don't call me Father. I'll be going away, Maggie, soon. Oh, Father. Why? Don't you see? It's part of her plan. I brought in 13 million pounds. And a holy priest who's brought in 13 million pounds will not be left to languish here in the back of beyond. The church knows how to reward its own. Oh, no. No. My Maggie. It's better this way. How can it be better? To take away what I love most in the world. And better for me. Better than someday having to marry you to somebody else. Better than staying here to watch you change into something I can never have. Maggie, when I saw you last night, I almost hated you. Hated me? For growing up? Yes. Yes. Oh, Maggie. When you were a little girl, you were like my own child to me. You were the rose of my life. I could have you then. But you can have me now. You can marry me. You love me. But I love God more. I do love you, Maggie. I always will. But I can't be a husband to you. Only I could make you understand what being a priest means to me. How God fills a need in me no human being ever could. Not even me. yours. You'll come back to me because I'm the one who loves you. <laughs> <laughs>